Hello. Hi, is this the Kingdom Hall? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I think I got the wrong number. No, uh, this is not the Kingdom Hall, but we we are Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> oh, I see. Your phone number is listed as the Kingdom Hall. Yes. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just had a question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Okay. Uh, do you have a minute? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, um, I heard about the website, so I've been looking at some things on there, and I just had a question about one thing. Um, okay. There's a video on there uh, called The Kingdom, 100 Years and Counting. Mm-hmm. Did you ever hear of that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, um, he, he said this, like, amazing thing. I guess it's one of your leaders, Samuel Hurd. Um, he was talking about um, their history in 1914. Um, and yes. he said that they weren't sure what was going to happen before then. But they knew it would be a pivotal year. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, I found that really strange because when you read about them before 1914, um, they were very sure what was going to happen. And they made very specific predictions of what would happen in 1914. And they never said it would be a pivotal year. So that's just a very vague thing. They predicted very specific things that you could, you would be able to see, you know? I just mm-hmm. don't know why he said that. It's kind of making it seem like it was completely different than the failure that their predictions was, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't say exactly, because mm-hmm. I know you're looking on the website and asking that type of question, but on the website, mm-hmm. do they have, because, I mean, I haven't went there. Mm-hmm. I go there all the time, but I yeah, haven't went yeah. there where you can see if you can ask a question. Is there a place there that you can ask that question? No, they I'm don't. Okay. They don't They okay, don't I'm encourage gonna... questions, really. That's just why I wanted to ask somebody in person. Um, yeah. They don't have any email you can access there. Um, do you okay. are you familiar with the the predictions they made before 1914? No, mm-hmm. I mean I can't just. I'm not a good history person, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I couldn't give you that type mm-hmm. of information. But, well, it's, it's um, they're always encouraging everybody else to delve into the history, like Constantine. Look at how long ago that was, and and examine your religion. So I thought it would be fair enough to see some of the things they had written before 1914. Oh, you want to see something that was written before 1914? Oh, no, no, I, I can see them. I, th- their books are oh. available, you know, right. different. I right. have a few, and then also sites like Archive. You know, Archive means just saving old books and things like right. that. Um, mm-hmm. They said that Christendom will pass away um, by 1914, and um, the governments would all end. It says that in Russell's books. The end of Babylon okay. was also predicted. Yeah, that was some older, old. A lot of things have changed since Russell. So you're familiar with some of those things. Are you, are, did you have any, um, have you been to the Kingdom Hall? I did. I visited because somebody invited me to it. But uh, my question oh, okay. isn't really whether it's changed or not. It's his the deception of what he said on the video, that they weren't sure what was going to happen. They preached those things very dogmatically. They preached that um, Jesus was already present since 1874, um, It will that Armageddon will end in 1914. Those are all, like, from his book. So I, I'm not sure why that man is saying that. <laughs> Unless he's trying to trick people. No, he's not trying to tr- mm-hmm. trick people. Through the years, things have gotten, the information mm-hmm. has gotten brighter and brighter and lighter. So as they study more, they their understanding gets more clear. So a lot of things that was way back in 18-something, yeah. they got clear understanding of those things. Yeah, so that's, not, not, that's, that not, was, that's not my question. He's talking about... What happened before 1914? And it's very misleading. Right. I'm, I'm not talking about whether it's even right, this new light idea or not. Um, but 
if that's so true and it's no problem, why is he being so so deceptive about it? Why doesn't he mention the things they were predicting for 1914? I mean, through um, uh, outsiders, uh, he was considered, you know, humiliated by 1914, Russell, Charles Russell. They distributed okay. those books all over the place, you know? Right, I know, way, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. back then. But like, like I said, their understanding have changed. You don't understand, so. still don't understand the question. That's fine, but he's being dishonest about the history, saying they weren't sure what was going to happen. They were very dogmatic about it. And they, they didn't yeah, teach I, it was going to be a pivotal year. And all that is in, um, Russell's books, you know? The time is at hand. Right. Um, all those predictions. Watchtower, 1911. Christendom will have passed away. The Kingdom Come, 1891. Um, the Last Days. The End of the Last Days. The End of Armageddon. End of All Governments, right. he predicted. So I'm not, I don't, okay. you know, I don't care if you, they, you changed it. Uh, obviously, they would have had to change it after that. But um, I, it's just a strange statement to make when he knows full well what they were teaching before, you know? No, I, I, I really would assume, I would so. assume he knows the history. Okay, so your question is, mm -hmm. you you looked at, a video. I'm just trying to get it straight because my right. husband is not here. Oh, right. So right. The video. At a video. It's called The Kingdom and 100 it. Years and Counting. It's on the website. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I know that one. Okay. So you're questioning why he's saying something different than what was written back in the 1800s? Is that what you're saying? Yes. It's very and misleading. It's he's trying to make it almost seem like a success. They knew it would be a pivotal year. I mean, come on. I mean, that's that's uh it was an epic fail, you know. Okay, so I'm I'm writing this down. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. So the video 100 years. Okay. Video. Okay, and Okay, so I have it down mm -hmm. and it's your let me see. I think your number came up on our ID. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I can have my husband call you back. It probably won't be today because he's up in okay. Akron right now. So when is a good time for someone to call? Oh, I'm pretty flexible. Okay, so you're pretty flexible? Yeah, I, I guess he would have, I don't know how he could, you know, find, I might have to give him the page numbers where they made all those predictions because it would be very tedious to read all of those books. He might not believe me because um, those books are not on the website. They they don't want those oh, yeah. to be on there. Yeah, I know. Well, mm -hmm. we have we have elders that's been in the truth years, so I would know there are some who would know about those books back then. Yeah, I wasn't in the truth back in the eighteen hundreds, but I do have some books that was older, you know, older mm, books. Yeah, but yeah. I will definitely have someone to call you to. Great talk to you about that particular video. Were you are you were you familiar with that that they made some very uh, definite predictions for 1914 uh, none of which like, came true? Like I said that I'm not mm -hmm. a history buff, but I do know the history and like I said there was a things that was said back then that they lighter the information has gotten brighter so there has been some changes. So it, w with other groups like Harold Camping, they call it false prophecies, but for the Watchtower, they just it's no problem. They said they were God's no, channel at that time. So they could basically it's, it's say anything. False. It wouldn't wouldn't be a problem. They could say no, any that, kind that's of... Not that's not correct because mm -hmm. there was a lot of things, even in the Bible, where Daniel, he got prophecies, but... Those things, he didn't even know what they meant. He was given prophecies. Mm -hmm. He didn't understand them. And as time went on, he was able, other ones was able to mm -hmm. understand what but he Daniel didn't, was saying. That's not anything to do with this because he didn't, he didn't make false predictions based on whatever he was writing in the book of Daniel. He said it was sealed. The book was sealed. 
Um, and they were making false predictions and claiming that they did understand, you, you know, telling people these things are going to happen in 1914 and now completely painting it like something different, like they predicted World War One, which they never did. That was not what they were predicting. So, you know, that's, that's okay, were different. You, were you back in that time or why? I mean, how do you know all of this? I mean, are you a history person or oh, were I do, you... I do in... like to read. I do like to read. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was interested in yeah, the Millerite movement. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why... Yeah. Why and, this is so important to you. That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh, because I mean, they you... because they claim to be the truth and that man, Samuel Hurd, is essentially lying on a video is a very misleading statement if you know the history. He's doesn't Okay he's covering it over. It's 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 very misleading for and I can't believe they have a video like this on there. I thought they were the okay. truth. Then they would, he would bring out all the things. If he wants to talk about 1914, let him talk about all the false predictions they made. Not that uh, they okay. didn't know. They they acted like they did know. They said it was all from Jehovah. You know, Russell said he was the last final messenger of the church. Okay. Well, we'll have someone give you a call okay. and they can discuss that with you. Okay. Do you ever and look at Do you ever your... look at uh, jwfacts.com? I sure do. Well, you, wait, the JW what? Facts. JWFacts.com. And if you look at a change, no. they have a section called Change Teachings, and then you go to 1914. Um, he lists all the references where Russell said all those things the organization was okay. teaching. Okay, what's, what's your first name? Christine. Christine? Yeah. Okay, Christine, I will make sure someone gives you a call Great. and they can discuss that with you. Great. Thank okay. you so much. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. God bless you. And you have a good day. You too. Okay, bye-bye.